Hey everyone, Rick here, and welcome to part two of wave one of the Miniature Building Authority Castle Kickstarter 2's rewards. So, I am uploading part one right now, so if you don't see part two up there, that's because I'm recording it right now, so that didn't make much sense. But anyway, so you if you've seen part one, you've seen some beautiful buildings, but now it's time for even more. So I showed you these, uh, the first bedroom set. Now I think there's just two different colors, so I'll just open this one other one and leave the rest there. So with these bedroom sets, which I love, and I didn't even request this. I just said I'd like four pre-painted bedroom sets. So what they did was they actually painted, I think, uh, just two different colors. So the first one was green. This one is kind of a burgundy red. So you got, again, the two different styles of beds and the dresser and the nightstand fully painted right out of the packaging again they offer these direct service items mostly unpainted but sometimes they do have painted versions in stock now this so there are four total bedroom sets then there's two of these these are library sets so with these library sets, you are going to get some little shelves with books on them. You are going to get some tall shelves with books on them. And it, that just looks nice. I like kind of the disheveled look of some of the shelves. That would look good inside any building, but even in a, like a wizard's tower would look really cool also. So in addition to those sets of shelves, you also get a small, tall set of shelves. And what library would be complete without a comfortable armchair? So that just looks fantastic three different styles of shelves and a chair. So I picked up two of those library sets. So that'll give me a nice array of miniature terrain to outfit the interiors of some of my buildings. And then lastly, before I run out of power again, we have the big boy, Farmstead 2. So apparently, again, there was a Farmstead 1. What comes in Farmstead 2? There's several layers to this. First layer are the walls. You get a double door front gate, again, fully painted right out of the box. You get a section of nice stone wall to go with that. You have a couple of interior floors. Then on section two you start getting into some of the meat and potatoes. Here is the first building again fully accessible by the inside. Windows are open. Fully painted all the way around. Not on the inside, just flat black. You can paint it yourself if you want, but there's plenty of room for figures in there and furniture. Here is the second building. A couple doors that you can use to access the interior. Windows, again, fully painted. Here's our first section of roof. Nicely shingled. Those are just black on the underside with the nice chimney with the chimney pots up top. Here is just a little peak roof for this tower we'll look at in a second. And here is another 
section of roof. So that was the second floor. So here we go. Ground floor. This is one of the bigger buildings. Really nice. You got some stairs up to the second level, some doors in that little area there, and some uh, kind of a, I don't know what that is. Uh, just an access to get in there. You can use it as a barn or a stable, I suppose. Again, fully accessed. Full access to the interior. Here, I think, is the biggest. Sorry, I keep blowing the styrofoam bits that have caught on to it. But this is probably the biggest building. Lots of doors, lots of nice open windows fully painted on all sides. Here's the back. The interior, again, there are stairs in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There are stairs. There you can kind of see them. There are stairs so that you can get up to the second floor. Again, miniature building authority, pre-painted, right out of the box. These guys are gamers. They know when you are playing a miniature war game, you want to get inside of the buildings. You want to have access points so you know exactly how to get up to the next level. So they include stairs on the inside. And the final little roof piece. So we can put this all together. This is a lot of material, folks. If you didn't, this is a, called a farmstead. You can use it as one, or you can almost think of this like a village in a box. I just am loving this. So you got your roofs, you can put those on. Each roof has its own place. So you kinda just have to eyeball it and see what looks the best. And unbelievably, I think I got it right on the first try. Some of the overhang roofs you want to put on before the top roofs. And just make sure that that's all secure. So that, oh wait, here we go. There's that nice little tower piece. Oh shoot, I forgot all about the floors. So in these buildings that have second floors, you are going to want to lay those in there so you have total access to the second floor and can actually put miniatures up there. So again, those stairs, that hole for the stairs leads right up to the second floor. And then, now that you've got it all set up, you can rearrange it however you'd like. I think they did something like this in the picture. So something like that. You got a farmstead or a little mini village. You don't have to leave it like that. You can set it up however you want. It'd be nice to get some more of these uh, fence pieces, but they're not necessary. You can just stick this around however you want. You've got a little village there. Stick your little market stalls in there. Your animal pen. And of course, outfit the interiors with some of the little accessories. Maybe stick the bed in there and a bookshelf. So that you are ready to dive right inside the buildings and you can start furnishing the interiors, yes. Just like a nice little dollhouse. So that is all, those are all of the items that I picked up from this latest Kickstarter project for Miniature Building Authority. Castle Kickstarter number two, wave one. This was everything they had in stock. The rest 
is going to be shipped out probably sometime next year because that's still in production. Obviously, I have all my Mage Knight stuff sticking out, but just to give you a quick glimpse of what you can do with Miniature Building Authority, this is just a nice chunk of uh, part of my collection. A lot of it came from Castle Kickstarter 1, so I can't wait to get the Castle Kickstarter 2 stuff. But this also shows how you can incorporate other terrain manufacturers. I have some of that beautiful Dwarven Forge City Kickstarter they did a couple years ago. Here's a ruined building as if someone just, you know, destroyed the wall and set that building on fire. So, uh, what else is there? This is some other unknown manufacturer I just got off eBay. But, so it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I just love these setups. I'm probably going to tear this one down and uh, create something new. So, as always, until next time.